demo, we will be showing how you can select different data sources and how that selected data source defines what options you will have within your analytics creation. Whether you use this in your analytics creation in a dashboard or within a single data visualization, it works the same. In this example, we will be doing it from the data visualization designer. From here, you can immediately start your analytics configuration with selecting the data source. The platform analytics experience is built data source agnostic. This means that this chart building works the same regardless of the data source underneath. No more separate builders for different data. Based on the selected data source, you will be presented the options that that chart allows for the data source. In this case, we have tables, performance analytics indicator data, and usage analytics data, but there could be more depending on your own license or platform capabilities you use. When we search for keywords, the system immediately searches within those available data sources. As you can see here with change, it shows indicator data, that data over time that comes with performance analytics, and it also shows the regular table data. Remember, it's the type of data source you select that will define the analytics options you will have later in your analytics chart configuration. We will select change task and you immediately see the records that are underneath. From here, we can also add some additional conditions to change the dataset we're using. This condition builder is the same you are used to with working with our platform lists. Notice how the preview of data immediately changes when we select different options within the condition builder. And if you would have saved sources for this particular table, they will appear in the predefined conditions option at the top. Those are the sources that are saved with already some conditions pre-applied. When we now click the add this source button, it will bring us to the visualization designer UI where we see the output of our data source selection immediately as a single score visualization. To edit the data source, we can click on the table name, or we click the three-dot menu and then edit. This will bring us back to the data source selection screen. To change you can just search and click for another table to use. Notice that this incident table does have some predefined sources you can pick from. Those are just normal tables, but already have some conditions applied. In this case, the incident closed predefined source will have active is false to be the already applied conditions. Of course, you can just easily add some additional conditions to this source as well. For this example, we will add some more conditions to this data source. Once we apply the priority condition and click run, notice how you immediately get the information of your data set, the total records, as well as a preview of those records. Let's change this data source into another table from another data source type. We will pick the indicator number of open incidents. Once you have done your search, the system will again show you all the available choices on that search. We will select the number of open incidents. This is an indicator showing the KPI data changing over time. You can immediately add an already stored breakdown for that indicator. Because it's data over time, it also shows a different preview, a single score that is showing the trend. The options you will have within the chart configuration will be dependent on the data source you are using, as well as the chart you will select. Based on those you will see more or less options within your analytics configuration to apply. In this case, you will have more predictive options to apply to that trending data or you can change the metric aggregation it is using.